Thank you, Mayor. This, is, this has been a, a busy week, last week. Uh, this week is National Public Works Week. Uh, we've held a proclamation reading. Uh, we did adopt a street at Mac, uh, McIntosh Park this week. Uh, we had an employee lunch in front of our public works folks, and, uh, and we had a good green recycling event as well this week. And I think we all know how hard the public works folks work to make this city uh, shine. And uh, my sincere appreciation and gratitude go out to all the public works folks who do a wonderful job. And we should not just recognize them one time, one week a year, it should be every day. Uh, also, this is National Police Week, which a proclamation was read today. Uh, and our police folks have been out with different folks, such as Moody, in celebration of uh, uh, Police Week. Uh, they also visit the art do programs such as Stranger Danger, but verbally prevention, things of that nature. Uh, they also, uh, last Thursday, they have a ceremony to uh, recognize uh, officers that have got promotions, and it was a great ceremony uh, for those that couldn't attend. Uh, we will also, the police department, have opening testing on June 2nd at 6 p.m. in the City Hall Annex. We're having good participation with the testing, and as, as we've told you before, the folks coming out of the uh, academies now are top notch, as I think we shared with you the last one of each of the six folks won an award, one, one being the top of the class out of 329 folks. So we're really beginning to see a lot of positive movement in that area for the police department. Also, the police department won first place in the Great American Cook-Off uh, this past Saturday uh, in the Battle of the First Responders, hosted by the local Boys and Girls Club. Chief Bywell lost again, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, again, uh, but uh, the point of all of that is, we know what the police department does to protect us, but they're out in the community each and every day trying to make that connection, doing that trust and that, that uh, community spirit. So they're involved with a lot uh, during the week other than the traditional police. Our Brown Bag Concert Series will start Monday, May 23rd. Please put it on the calendar. Uh, it's 11.30 to 1.30, and I'm so excited. It's going to be at Olympic Park. And it's one of our first, you know, I've been working hard the last few years to get just to start a function of Olympic Park. It's such a great place down there, and uh, we, we're going to start a brown bag. So please join us, invite everybody you know, to join us in Olympic Park. It's going to be a really good time for everybody. June 18th, Saturday, June 18th, uh, make sure you're searching your Super Dad 5K Run and Walk uh, at the George Bear Company. Uh, so those of you that would like to, to join in that fun, I don't know what is fun about around. I see all these people, like the mayor's daughter, I see when she runs, she smiles. I'm like, How do you, why are you smiling while you're running? But those that like that kind of thing, please sign up for the 5K run. All right. We need your beer. Yeah. Before or after, I guess. Whatever your pleasure is. But Maker's Market uh, was held on May 14th this past uh, Saturday. That continues to grow. We continue to get these vendors. Uh, we're hearing from our downtown folks that they are having more business than they've had in quite a while downtown. So uh, uh, well, that's, that's very promising uh, for the city. Fire Department this week also paid a visit to Silas Mahone uh, to teach the safety of firefighter tours of the engines and demonstrated how firefighters prepare for drills and emergencies. Some of our some of the pictures on the uh, 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 Facebook page and the website showing involved with the kids and uh, again I don't know if the firefighters had more fun or the kids had more fun but uh, I think a good time was had by all. Um, we also hosted our new employee breakfast one day this week and it turned out great. We've got a great new group of folks that are uh, looking very forward to what they're going to do here and how they're going to move up in this city and be the future leaders of the city. Also, as I said we've had a lot Last week, we've also graduated our GPP students that went by fast. We had a wonderful group. It's a small group. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get back to hosting that larger group where they can participate in the program two years as, as years passed. But COVID you know, kind of gapping down a little bit. So we have six, uh, six young people, incredible young people that worked in different departments for us uh, while they were here and did an exceptional job. So we have to held that graduation this week as well. Monday we had graduation of uh, 
Government 101, we had 12 folks graduate from that program, so that was a good turnout. <coughs> and also, just lastly, to on, on your calendars, our budget hearing with Mayor and Council will be uh, May 25th. For, it will start at 3 o'clock. We'll have a little break for supper, and then we'll continue on, and our plan is, as in the past years, to finish in one night. So May 25th, 3 o'clock. Uh, if you can, yeah, I think Amy sent y'all an email, you can, but you can get a budget. It'll be, it won't be the exact program that we will show you on the budget hearing, but it's the numbers and all those type of things that we traditionally pass out to you beforehand. Now, if we have any answer any questions. <laughs> questions for Mark? Mr. Mayor, uh, seeing as how you picked on Chief Caldwell, uh, we should also point out that, if I remember correctly, didn't the fire department win the corner off the term? We did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 blood drive. Oh, that was the one. Any more questions? I have a question. Um, yes. With the committees, you know, the um, small business and um, nonprofit, how far, how soon are we going to be able to get a project? And uh, how, how close are we going to be on that? We, we're going to. Uh, Start with United the nonprofit part of it first, uh, just simply because they have their campaign they have to start in August. And so as soon as we get them up and going, right behind that would be the smallest. No, no, I would say how far how soon will be close to the name of the project manager. Do you remember going to have a project manager? Yeah, here's here. Great question. Here we have, I'm not sure if she's still here yet. Crystal again, if you'll stand up. Thank you. Crystal is under the county manager. So what we decided to do, instead of trying to uh, hire a project manager this time, Crystal's brand new in, so she doesn't have the duties that she'll eventually perform, so we thought a great break-in project for Crystal will be heading up and being the project manager for Harvard. So that's what we're going to try to do. Her and Chuck will head both committees up, and keeping this online, all of our eyes dotted and T's crossed. Uh, but Crystal, again, will be that person. Any other questions for Mark? I, I yes, just want to ask a question. I know we mentioned before about what we were going to be doing about the mathis or anything like that. Is there any kind of way we can get together to find out an update of what's going to be happening? Or not? You know, not sure. Be stagnated. Is there anything going on with it? Uh, there is. There's some things. But if you let me work out one more deal, I will update all of that with an email. Please do I, I can update you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I just need one more little thing to work out, and I will send you all in the room. We're that close. Thank you. Any other questions for Mark? Mark, thank you. Thank you. Move on to Council 